The first day of a historic Vatican summit has ended with Catholic Church leaders admitting years of covering up clergy sexual abuse. Pope Francis has issued the bishop's 21 reflection points he hopes will end the abuse and provide care for the survivors. Our Bill Baeza is in Vatican City covering the historic meeting and joins us now live from the Vatican. And Bill, we understand that you were able to speak exclusively with a young man from the Houston area who's studying for the priesthood at the Vatican. This is the Pontifical North American College, tucked away behind St. Peter's Square in the Vatican. It's where American seminarians with the most promise are selected to complete the final four years of theological study before ordination to the priesthood. And this is the classroom where 25-year-old Joe White from Lake Jackson will receive instruction on celebrating Mass, the cornerstone of priestly vocation. Joe graduated from Lake Jackson's Brazoswood High School in 2013. But long before that, he was an altar boy at St. Michael's Church. And something about being a good Catholic boy spoke to Joe White in a very unique and very special way. I found it in prayer when I was praying um, when I was a senior in high school. I would go to our Adoration Chapel at St. Michael's in Lake Jackson, uh -huh. and I would pray and I was asking God um, what I was supposed to do with my life, and I realized that in that conversation, I was just telling him everything that I wanted to do. Uh, and through that, I realized that if I really believe that he's God and he created me, then he created ha me um, with a plan. Although we agreed not to press Joe about the clergy sex abuse scandal and the meeting of church leaders to address it nearby, we did talk with Cardinal DiNardo about the formation of the seminarians he has sent here. The faculty and staff with him are discussing it. I just had uh lunch yesterday with two of our seminarians here on the, for lunchtime. They certainly have discussed it. They are aware of it. They know what's going on. I think they're very dedicated, you would hope, you know, these young, young seminarians are very dedicated to see that this particular plague ends in the church and they will be part of, uh, of that system to end it. First I miss home. What yeah. do you miss most about? I miss my family, yeah. uh, being with them, being able to spend holidays and uh, get a lot of my mom's cooking. Joe White will be ordained a deacon here at the Vatican before taking his final priestly vows in about three years. Then it's back to Lake Jackson, a different man, a man of God, called to serve the community where he grew up. I apologize for the fact that our picture froze going into the piece about Joe there, but the cardinals and the bishops who are meeting here this week to address the clergy abuse scandal are counting, in a way, on young people like Joe White to help the church regain credibility as it tries to find a solution to years of clergy sex abuse. Lauren and Keith? Bill, I understand that you actually have a personal connection to that seminary. As a matter of fact, I do. It's called the Pontifical North American College, and my brother John graduated from there in the mid-80s, about 35 years ago. In fact, he was instrumental in helping set up this interview with, uh, with Joe. So, yeah, my brother John studied here. Personal connection there, mm -hmm. Bill. Thank you.